Hey guys, welcome, welcome to, to the, the Marcast. Mar this is our first episode. And today we have some special guests joining us. Welcome, Brooklyn and Ryan. Woo! Yay! The Marcast. Yeah, I love the Marcast. <laughs> this is my favorite podcast. <laughs> Guys, today we're here with some special guests, and I'll let them introduce themselves. Oh, I'm Ryan Andrici. I'm Brooklyn Hannig. Kimmel's right there. And what are you guys a part of? Theater! theater! Yeah. And you guys are a part of the theater cabinet, right? So yeah. we brought them on today to answer a few questions about the one act that they just performed. So I'll let Marit take it away. Okay, just tell us, what was it about? So basically, <laughs> there's this girl. Her name is Sarah, right? And she she's part of this Jewish family. And so she has this boyfriend, but he's not Jewish. And her parents don't like that. So um, when her parents come to visit her, she hires an actor, and his name is Bob, and I played Bob. And so she has him pretend to be her boyfriend, but turns out he's also not Jewish. And so antics ensue. Very nice. Anything to say? No, that was that kind of covered it. So you played Bob. Tell us a little more about Bob. So Bob, he's an actor. He's kind of goofy at sometimes, but um, yeah, pretty much. He's pretty much of a goofy guy. Yeah. An actor, yeah, and he he goes along with this plan of Sarah's, even though he's not Jewish. Oh. So good guy. <laughs> How would you say the show went overall? I think it went really well. I don't know what yeah, you're talking about. Yeah, well, no. It's your first <laughs> Right, yeah. No, the show went really well, I thought. I mean, we had a really good audience both nights we did it, yeah. so. And where did you guys perform? We performed at South High School for festivals, so we performed for other one acts and schools. And then we performed our public performance here at Davies. a few days later. At Davies. Yes, at Davies. How fun. So, you said that you played Bob. Who did you play? I played Miriam. <laughs> she is, she's Sarah's mom. She's, like, a super overbearing mother who, like, wants the best for her child. Like, hugs, kisses, you know, all of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what was each of, your fav each of you your favorite part of the show? The act. What was your favorite part, Brooklyn? <laughs> My favorite part is when Ryan and Sadie had to kiss oh. because I thought it was really funny. <laughs> and they Tell had to do more. a lot of work on it. <laughs> okay. Um, my favorite part... <laughs> so there's this point in the show where Miriam, Brooklyn's character, gets mad at me. And during one of our rehearsals, Brooklyn thought it would be a character choice to slap me across the face. <laughs> so she did, and I fell on the floor. Oh, no. But we continued the scene like nothing happened. It was a character choice. Pretty, yeah, and yeah. I continued the scene. And this was rehearsal, right? Yeah, yes, this is this not the show. <laughs> Thankfully. And how long did this whole thing take for you guys to prepare? Well, we started in December, and then in March... Around, no, February and March, uh, our main stage production, Chicago, started rehearsing. So we had to put Bojest on pause. And then after Chicago performed, we started up Bojest again, and it was kind of hard to start We had, like, again. a week to pick it back up. But oh, really? Yeah. We but we got to. it. Yeah. It was pretty good. So how long did it take for you guys to, like, memorize all the lines then? So long. <laughs> he, had, he like barely left the stage I got mine pretty quickly but because you left the stage multiple times yeah, yes so many yeah. times yes but yeah and also now <laughs> what's coming oh, up for you guys and in May we have the uh, the performance of our student one act plays that the kids in PA2 write and direct that sounds fun and <laughs> I'll have to invite Others. Oh, Your whole friends and family. Yeah. Yeah. To the more the merrier. Right. Right. Yes. Well, thank you guys for coming on the podcast. Thanks thank for you. having us. <laughs>
long did it take for you to do your makeup? Because you said that oh, you were, like, old makeup. Yeah, so <laughs> my makeup and hair process was a lot. Mason Wynn designed both of them and, like, did both of them on me, and my hair took about 45 minutes to put in, and then Sari would do my old age in, like, five minutes. Oh. So, yeah, I think putting my hair up into, like, a helmet of a <laughs> hair it's a cap. Bob. Yeah, it was like a bob, but it kind of looked like a helmet. I think that took longer than the actual show. <laughs> but <laughs> it, it was cute. It was a cute little old lady look. I appreciate Mason very much for it, but I did lose a lot of hair from that I just hairstyle. Had, I just had basic stage face, so it took me, like, two minutes. Mm -hmm. Did you do your own makeup? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Macy Macy yeah. did my hair for the show, which did take longer. Not as long as Brooklyn's, but didn't your hair change throughout the no. show? No. Yes, it did. They did it a different it way. It did as we were throwing off my costume and changing me. But that's about it. My hair didn't change in the show. A fun fact is that during the show, at one point during the like family dinner. Miriam pulls out a little camera, and they take a picture. And during this picture is the first kiss that happens. Um, so, actually, I took a disposable camera <laughs> in place of the prop. So, we will be having real printed-out pictures of Ryan and Sadie kissing every single time we ran it. Oh. oh. Isn't that a fun fact? So fun. There were other pictures we took. That yeah, I want to. I want to see those. Well, there's gonna be a lot of you guys kissing too. Oh, fun! <laughs> you guys are a part of the theater cabinet. What is it like? Like, what are some responsibilities you guys have? Come on, vice president. Okay, as vice president, um, I'm in charge of bonding and supporting local art. So the goal is to try to go to as many local art opportunities as we can, which um, other Fargo public schools give us like free tickets usually. And then we get a discount for, like, West Fargo. So we try to go to as many of those as possible and get, like, a whole Davies group to go. And then for bonding, we try to do a different event, like, every month. And we've done a lot of fun ones this year. We've done, like... So much fun. A pool party. We've done, like, board games in the art museum. And we do have, in the next few weeks, the Egg Olympics. Wow. Which is Easter-themed. Um... So we're going to be having some fun with some eggs. Egg hunt. Egg yes. trivia. Oh, yes. Egg decorating. Oh, yes. All sorts of things. Very nice. What about you, Ryan? I am actually the tech rep in theater. So usually I'm not an actor, but this year I've done more acting than tech. But basically I represent the, the technicians in our theater cabinet because it's mostly actors. But yeah, so I got the I'm tech rep. Uh, I also organized the PA showcase, PA showcase. That's pretty fun. I don't what else we're doing? What? We're organizing the Starries award show. Oh, the we end of are the year doing that. award show for theater. So, that's fun. We get everyone who's been involved in theater during the year. We invite them to this showcase, this uh, award show, you could say, and we have some fun. And what's the theme this year? The theme this year is Starry, Starry Night. Night. Are you guys excited <laughs> for that then? I am so excited. Yeah, I have an outfit planned. Tell us more. Yeah, what's your outfit? Oh, um, you'll just have to be there to see it. <laughs> it will be a surprise. Yeah, surprise outfit. Right. Do you think you're going to win anything? No. Oh. You go, you go in with low expectations so that when you that's win a, stuff, yeah. you're like, Yay. That's a good mentality. Proud of you, bud. Thanks, pal. <laughs> <laughs> We're rooting this part. <laughs> Are you guys a part of, like, costumes or props or any of that preparing? I'm a part of props, although I have not helped a lot this year because <laughs> I've been really busy on stage. However, there are a lot of really cool props, and all of them are designed by students. Oh. So in Chicago, we had, like, the newspapers, and Caitlin Foote actually sent them in to, like, the actual newspaper place and got, like, our faces on the newspaper, and that was really cool. But, yeah. I usually just do tech, 
So yeah. build the set, paint the set, lights, sound, the whole nine yards. What's your specialty in tech? Carpentry, building. Carpentry. I'm, I'm a builder. So you guys brought up Chicago earlier. Can you tell us like what that show is about? Yeah, so Chicago follows Roxy Hart. Um, it starts off in the first number where she kills her lover. I know, crazy, right? And um, it basically just follows her like criminal process, and it kind of shows like how the justice system worked back then. Um, along the way, she meets Velma Kelly, who I played Velma Kelly. And Velma Kelly is like kind of a star <laughs> yeah. and then um she killed her sister and her husband so she ended up in jail and it's basically Velma and Roxy fighting for the spotlight and then they realize that it will never always be them because there's always like a bigger and better story so right yeah so you were on the acting side yes what did you do for Chicago Ryan I did the technical side of things so for Chicago, I was the stage manager. So I got to I got to sit in the booth and I watched the show, but I didn't just watch it. I had to make sure all the deck cues were on time. I had to help out with spots. I had to do make sure the lighting cues were on time, the sound effects, and I pretty much had the most busy job, I think, besides an actor, obviously. But on the tech side, I probably had the most busy job. Yeah. Did you do any building for that? So much building. I. You built the cells. I built the, the cells, cells. Kind of, yeah. I built the cells with my friend Ryan Zimmel. We built the cells. Talking about so the much. cells, what did the set look like? It was like six jail cells. So there were there were it was like how do I? Like four on the bottom. So like two. <laughs> okay, so so there was two cells. Yeah, and then one there was stacked on top. On both sides of the stage, and with a bridge connecting the middle. And, like, a yeah. middle pathway Yeah. in the middle. Yeah. It was kind of like that. <laughs> I'll copy with Theo's triangle. triangle. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It was a triangle. Yeah. Yes. It was yeah. a triangle kind of, with cells. Kind of. But they, they were square cells, not triangles. Well, obviously. that's what he he's saying, that they were in the form of a triangle, right? <laughs> kind of <laughs> like that. <laughs> and, oh... What? And um, we built these, so there's the stage, right? Oh, yeah. And then we built these two pits, so they would go lower. They were, like, lower levels in the stage, and that was a tough process. And I did a lot of yelling at Josh and Ryan. We called them the hot tubs. That's what we I don't actors know, called I them. I don't know who we is, but. Uh, the actors called them the hot tubs. I don't think it caught on. <laughs> okay. What is your favorite part of the show? My favorite part was at the end of Act One. Um, Velma and Roxy are kind of both um, realizing that they're not the star of the spotlight, and they sing "My Own Best Friend," which Noah then joined in on as the MC. And that was just that was my favorite song to sing in the entire show. I love singing with Lauren, and it was just a really good way to end out Act One. Do you want to sing a little bit right now? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Lauren's not here. I can fill in. Do you know the harmonies, though? I know. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. My favorite song of the show was Nowadays. It's at the very end of the show. I hated that song. I love it. It's so good. You probably just liked it because we got to dance with the cool prop. No. It just, I just like how it sounds. It's, it's good. And it, and it, that and was the worst song in the entire show. And Why? it's and it's about the the main theme of the show, well, yeah. which is like spotlight, and it it closes off the show really nicely. I think. I disagree. And and it's a duet between Velma Kelly and Roxy Hart. Well, obviously. Right, that's why it's so good. I don't understand how that's your favorite song. Every, almost every show on Calm, whenever Nowadays started, I'd be like, this is my favorite song. 
Why? Because it's my favorite song. How did I not know that? It's good. You didn't like, like, All That Jazz or Roxy or, like, Yeah, I, for the Gun. Those like, songs are good, too. Both Reach for the Gun is kind of a basic favorite, though. I feel like everyone's gonna start crying. No, when he hears no, that. I feel like everyone <laughs> loves both Reach for the Gun. Because it's good. So you're not original for liking it. So you're just trying to be quirky by liking no. it nowadays. That's exactly what no, you just I, said. I, I, no. <laughs> I don't get okay. Well I like Okay. No, okay. <laughs> um, next question. <laughs> How long did it take you guys to prepare? So much time. Like I wanna say three months, right? Yeah. Were you guys practicing every day in that three months? No. Yes. Except when we had Bo Jest. Yeah. <laughs> so So no. <laughs> me and like Ethan and Sadie and Andrew were all doubling shows. Caitlin so that was, was fun. in Chicago. Oh, Caitlin too. And, and I had to too, double for tech. Yeah. Was it hard balancing the two shows? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of. It was just weird bouncing from Velma Kelly, who was like a very like, ooh, look at me, I'm Velma Kelly, to Miriam, <laughs> who uses like an old Why lady don't we voice do the Miriam like, voice? I don't know if I can. Give it a shot. <laughs> the fans would What's love my line? The fans. What's my line? Well, Wait, hurry up. We ha name? We're running what's, out of what's time. What's your name? I'm Bob. Say, um. um I, I'm. I'm blanking on all of my lines right now. What's the one where you're leaving know. the first night? You're like, David! <laughs> no, I don't. We hope to see a lot more of you. It's like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, and David! <laughs> oh, we hope to see a lot more of you. <laughs> oh, that was good. That was good. Okay. Well, thank you guys for coming on the Mar the bonus episode. Marcast. Bonus. Marcast. Bonus Marcast. Thank you for having us. On the bonus episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm.